Carbon. It doesn't just stand around looking cool. It's always on the move. Carbon is found in all living cells, animals, plants and microorganisms. Because all cells contain proteins, fats and carbohydrates and those molecules all contain carbon atoms. Carbon moves from living things to the environment and back again in the carbon cycle. How does it work? Let's start in the sky. Carbon dioxide is present in the atmosphere in very small concentrations, less than four parts per 10,000. But there is a lot of sky, so that's plenty of CO2. Carbon goes from the air into plants. Remember what happens in photosynthesis. Green plants remove carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and then put the carbon to good use. which in plant terms means they make complex molecules such as proteins, fats and carbohydrates, all incorporating the carbon. Plants are at the bottom of food chains. They are eaten by animals which digest and process the plants, making the carbon part of their own fats and proteins. And so up the food chain carbon goes as each animal becomes dinner for its predator. Waste material from animals is part of the cycle too. So microorganisms and even some animals feed on animal waste. And even dead plants and animals are a food source for some organisms. Messy job, but someone has to do it. Microorganisms and detritus feeders put carbon compounds into the soil. These are taken up by plants as nutrients. So we've seen the carbon pass from air and soil into living things. To continue the cycle, the carbon needs to get back out again. Respiration is the vital chemical reaction that takes place inside cells. All living things respire. It's not just animals. Plants and microorganisms do it too. Respiration releases the energy cells need to live. One of the waste products of respiration is carbon dioxide. So there goes carbon back into the atmosphere when living things get rid of their CO2. Whew. Burning wood and fossil fuels also puts carbon dioxide into the air. So now we're back where we started, with carbon in the atmosphere. It gets taken in by plants and off we go again. From air to plants, animals, microorganisms, soil and dead stuff and back again. That is the carbon cycle. Phew! Busy, busy!